The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Frederick Bartels. Our first reading is from the book of Exodus. Moses went and told the people all Yahweh's words and all the laws. And all the people answered with one voice, All the words Yahweh has spoken we will carry out. Moses put all Yahweh's words into writing, and early next morning he built an altar at the foot of the mountain, with twelve standing stones for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then he sent certain young Israelites to offer burnt offerings and sacrifice bullocks to Yahweh as communion sacrifices. Moses then took half the blood and put it into basins, and the other half he sprinkled on the altar. Then, taking the Book of the Covenant, he read it to the listening people, who then said, We shall do everything that Yahweh has said. We shall obey. Moses then took the blood and sprinkled it over the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant which Yahweh has made with you, entailing all these stipulations. Our responsorial is from Psalm 50. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. The God of gods, Yahweh, is speaking from east to west. He summons the earth. From Zion, perfection of beauty, he shines forth. Gather to me my faithful, who sealed my covenant by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his saving justice. God himself is judge. Let thanksgiving be your sacrifice to God. Fulfill the vows you make to the Most High. That if you call to me in time of trouble, I will rescue you and you will honor me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. And many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you'd been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will grant whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Anyone who believes in me, even though that person dies, will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is to come into this world. The Gospel of the Lord.